Hello guys, welcome back to AK Academy and Planner app. Today it is the final part of the application which is uh, the to-do items. You will get started by to-do items, add, update, delete them and also check or done and undone the item itself within uh, the plan. Okay. Now before we get started, let's go to the uh, API documentation so we can go to to-do items, we check what we have ABI uh, to do items and we can pass a plan ID so we can get all the to do items for a specific plan we won't use this one because already while we open the details component of a plan here we get the plan by ID and inside the, that plan there is a list of to do items okay so as soon as we get the plan we already get the to do items related for it so we want to use this one. We don't need to get actually for the first time. What we want to do is to post, add a new item, update that item and delete. Okay. Now regarding post, let's click on that. We can see what we can send inside the request. There is an object called to do item request. That item we send the ID. This is for update description, estimated date and plan ID. Let's forget a little bit about estimated date. I think it's uh, not important for now, so we can set uh, where this item will be done. Uh, there is no logic right now, and from a programming wise, like if just as a capability or something, it is the same for description, but it's just an, another field which is of type date time. So we concentrate on what's important, which is description, plan ID, also uh, the ID of the item, so we can use it to update. Regarding update, we have uh, to update the first one which is uh, take the request inside the body uh, the object the same but here we can for example change the description okay while the second one we pass the ID of the uh, of the item and what actually this action does is if this item is done so the check status is true it turns it to false like make it undone and vice versa if it's undone update this item using this action the item will become done okay so it's going to change the status of that item so to get started we want to implement functions inside a new service we'll call it to do item service uh, for post uh, two two edits and one delete so let's get started Now, I will go to the second project, go for models first, and I will create a new, this is the to-do item, we have already created the, uh, the object, but I will create now, these are nullables, or we can get rid of them, but for now I will leave them here, I will set them to nullable. Now, I will create a class called to-do item request, which is about Sending update and insert request or post request. Have the description. I'm not interested in the estimated date, so I will send also the plan ID like this. Okay. Now regarding the validation, description is required. Okay. And string length, set it for 200 as maximum. Okay. Let's move it to a separated file. Uh, move type to to the item request okay that's good now I'll go to services and create a new service I will call it to do items service okay good go to plans let's copy this code to the same Okay, mark it as public. Good. Now add reference to aksoftware.webapi.client. This one will be called to do item service. Okay, great. And this is the access token property. When we set its value, it's gonna set the access token property of the service client that will use it to call the protected requests. Okay. Now we can start by creating the functions. The first one 
public async task it's going to return a to do item single response as you can see here if i go to post go for the response i have the same response for the plans uh, which returns the message success operation date but also the record and the record here is at to do item i've already created the to do item but i'm not sure if i've created the single response for that to do item request to do register okay plan single response ah, okay i have this one so i will create another one call it to do item single response inherit from base api response which contains the message is success to do item it is record you can do it using inheritance and also you can uh, create this class using generic so create a class called uh, single response and takes t as type sometimes it's plan and another time it's to do item but for now i will do it like this move it also to a separated file okay great now go back to to do item service and set the response type as uh, call it to do item single response okay I will call it create item async and takes item request model as a parameter. Okay. Now return the response. Let's await client post protected async. We have to define the type of response we will get from the api then here define the url which is the page url slash api slash to do items now the model at the model parameter and that's it we can say response dot result okay this is regarding uh, creating the item i will copy it paste it here change it to edit item async change the request from post to put okay it is the same model but here we have to set the id property and the last one or not not the last one sorry we have change change item state async okay uh, this one takes only the string id of the item and it is like this you can pass the id and pass the model as null and it's a post request a put request sorry okay this one let's add a little description insert a new to do item inside a specific plan object represents the item to be added okay copy it paste that here edit that description of a specific item to be edited here and the last one mark the item as undone as done sorry if it is undone vice versa okay ID of the item to be updated. Cool. The last one is delete, which is like this one. Take the 
ID here and basically we don't need to pass anything and we call this one delete delete item async and this one is a delete request delete protected async that's it okay cool now we can move to the second part which is register the service inside the dependency injection container uh, with plan service and authentication service um, this one is to do item service yeah like this okay so now we can move forward in implementing the UI the edit, comp edit plan component which actually had the uh, function to edit the plan part and the other part which is the items inside that plan or also we can call it the plan details so in the next video we are going to implement that UI implementing those three functionality you have just created create edit and check or uncheck the items in addition to delete Thank you so much for watching and see you in this next video.